Hey guys, it's Smallmouth Crush. Today, we're going to do a little trout fishing. That's right, still a little dirty on the Chesapeake. Can't get up north. I'm bored. I'm going to take you guys on a little trout fishing expedition coming up. All right, so this trout expedition that we're going on, just outside of Philadelphia, loaded, loaded with big trout, right? Monster stream trout. So I need to get my stuff rigged up. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna walk you through the steps and all the equipment that I use uh, for trout fishing because it does get complicated. Uh, this bag here, this bag weighs a ton. And this is definitely not my trout bag. This is right here, four pound and some sinkers and hooks and corn. We need corn. Let's go get corn. All right, corn really for trout? Just you wait and see. I didn't believe it until I moved out here a few years ago. Back where I come from, we have like native fish that live in the streams and they're very hard to catch and you have to throw, you know, I don't know, I'm not a trout fisherman, okay? But you gotta get creative, right? You gotta do the fly rod, the the, the weighted line, the floating line, the, the helgramites, whatever the case, it's a challenge. Out here, you just need some corn, a little baby hook, a sinker, and you're good to go. Okay, so I'm down here in this little storage room, all my extra carryover fishing stuff, and I was looking for a trout rod. SX10, in case you're wondering. It's a very expensive combo. I think I bought this at Dick's Sporting Goods for about $29.99, so it's a little steep. But no, I, I spooled it with four pound line and what happened was I used, so I went down to Florida saltwater fishing uh, a few months back and I used a sabiki rig to catch some bait and I brought this rod with me because I don't have a lot of saltwater setup. So now I can't even turn the, the handle on this cardinal. Like it won't. So I don't know if we're going to be able to trout fish today at all. Unless I go get a reel. I guess the salt water did its number. I mean the drag works. So the spool works fine. Let me take this off real quick and see. I, I have another I have another reel. I just don't want to find it. Yeah, this salt water really, I just can't turn it, you know? I'm just wondering, that didn't sound good. I just thought maybe if I could t t put some torque on it, I could break it. Or break the. This thing's. This ain't working. This thing's done. The ball. It's just gonna bend. There. There we go. How's that? It reels backwards. Oh, it does reel forward, but it takes a lot of pressure. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I think we broke her. Yeah, we fried it. Very much to it. All right, I guess we'll get a new reel. So, buddy. Okay, I found another uh, reel. This this one here is the. Uh, what the heck? Take a look at this thing. It's a TX five hundred F. Shimano, there we go, 500. I think this was made back in 87. 
but we're gonna roll with it because I don't have time. My trout selection equipment is not as great as my bass equipment. I wonder how old this line is though. Six. So here's the deal with these trout. They stock them, right? They're all just stock trout because in this area, pretty much anything gets fished out immediately. Uh, most people keep them and they don't, I mean, they just have to stock. stock. I think they do it twice a, a year. I mean, it's fun. It's something, it really is something cool. Like, I guess if you had children or introducing someone into fishing, you know, I do it. I just like to be outside, you know, and just fish. So they're 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 stocked. So they're stupid. They'll pretty much bite anything, and the bite's good until they all get caught. I mean, I, I'm sure some survive here and there, but I'm actually gonna switch this out to some different line. But I don't think they'll. Uh, I mean, I don't think there's any native fish. What is going on here with this? Oh, this is another spool. So here's the crazy th stuff. So they actually have a website that shows you when these trout are getting dumped into these streams. So, and the exact time. So at 12.30 on August 1st, really? I guess they didn't tie that on too well. Come on, this happened to you guys before. Don't laugh. This is actually... I do do some uh, salmon and uh, trout fishing on Lake Michigan or Lake Ontario. Yeah, all the Great Lakes. Right now, mostly Lake Ontario. And uh, so, I mean, I'm, I know what's up when it comes to monster steelhead. But these little streams of stock trout and PA, that's another challenge. All right, guys, we are on our way to the trout fishing capital of Delaware County. All right, we're gonna get ourselves a trout. A big Pennsylvania trout. All right, we just got to the hole. It ain't much to this place. It's just a little river, a little stream here. Got him. Oh yes. We got ourselves a trout. What a fight. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. He's hooked good too. I'm just gonna cut the line. I'm not kissing him. There you go. If I hold him up, he looks bigger. Easy. There we 
go. Got ourselves a little, I don't know, rainbow trout. I'm not a trout expert. You can lip them. I'll tell you what, I mean, it's something to do, right? It's pretty crazy catching trout on corn, but that's just how we do it here. We are trout catching fools today. What do you think? Should we eat them? <sighs> nah, we'll let them go. Trout city here. Look at that one. Look at that guy. It's a decent trout. All right, we got, looks like we got a guy who's pretty serious about trout fishing with a little kid. I'm gonna invite them over here and see if they would like to uh, get in on this school. Why not, right? Dude, you're liking it. They're back in that wood, man. Mm -hmm. When they come out. They're smart though, they know. Well, they can see they're very yeah. sensitive fish. Right. All right, Annabelle, uh -oh. come here. Annabelle, come here. Hold the rod in this hand. Way to reel. Yeah, it's been. Come on. Is this your reel, first reel, fish? Reel, reel, reel. Oh, he got off. He came back. Reel, reel, reel. <laughs> Put it down. Oh. Hold it. No, hold right here where Daddy's holding. Yeah. Look, look at the phone. Hey, Travis, thanks a lot, buddy. You say thank you, Travis. Thank you, Travis. No problem. Sorry, your video doesn't go too good because of the. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'll show you the setup here. Real, real basic stuff, you know. Just tying that real small hook. And then a really small split shot. Super small. Go about a foot. Foot or so. And that's pretty much it. And you'll be on trout all day long with this setup. All right guys, I'm also offering guided trips for these trout. I guarantee a limit of eight inches. All right guys, so we caught a few trout today on the corn. It's a good technique. If you're ever in this area, go down to the local groceries, pick up a bag of corn, and go to town. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I got a great contest going on right now. Uh, you can win that free Mercury jersey. All you have to do is uh, go on my channel, become a subscriber, and then comment on any video and give me a like on any video and you could be the next winner. We're going to be a drawing in about two weeks, so stay tuned for that.